pulling trucks. Deadlifting serious weight. It carries over into our everyday life. Setting and reaching their goals. It's something I never would have seen myself doing. Wow, many of these women tell us they just set out really to get in shape. Well, now they are pushing themselves to the next level. That they are challenging and cheering each other on inside a Plymouth gym. Emily Schnabel is in training. The stones are, they're called Atlas stones. It's a giant ball of concrete. <laughs> you heard her right. Giant balls of concrete weighing anywhere from 110 to 162 pounds. Typically in a contest, you would either load it over a bar for reps or you would load it onto a platform. Sometimes you'll start with a lighter one, work up to a heavier one, or sometimes it'll be just one stone. You do as many reps as you can um, in a minute. Emily is a strong woman competitor, an idea she got from working out at Hale Strength and Shape in Plymouth. I originally was a dancer and I finally moved to a city that had professional dance teams. I told Kurt that I wanted to try out for one. Um, I knew that I would be competing against girls who were 18 to 22, so I had a good 10 years on them, so I told him that I needed to get into really good shape for that, so he helped me. Afterwards, I told him that I didn't want to digress, but I worked so hard to get in good shape, and so I needed some sort of goal to keep working towards, and that's when he got a group of us to start some strongman training. Good. Kurt Hessenbrook owns Hale Strength and Shape with his wife, Courtney, a gym they started out of their garage. It's now located on Main Street in Plymouth. We started out um, when we were running strength classes. It was a general strength class, and we still, that's primarily what we do, but um, as people were getting more and more into it, um, we started to push it a little bit and we found some people that were interested in competing and sort of taking it to the next level. We started with our three. Um, half of our gym showed up to cheer us on and I think they saw how much fun it was. And then from there, more girls started to show interest. I went to their first competition and it was just really impressive and something like I thought at that time, wow, I could never do this. And then the stronger I got, like, oh, maybe I can do this, and okay, I want to try to do this. Casey Wellmers is in training for her first strong woman. One of her first events is the log clean and press. For these women, being fit is more about being strong than slim. It's a lot more empowering. I mean, choosing to be skinny is fitting into a societal standard, where choosing to be strong is personal strength. It's something you do for yourself. It's not something you do for everybody else. It carries over into our everyday lives. I mean, a lot of the women at this gym are moms, so we're just trying to keep up with our kids. And, uh, you know, I have a seven-year-old son who weighs over 50 pounds and is constantly running and jumping on me, so I think it's important for me to be able to keep up with him. Well, I think that's a huge part of why we started doing it this way in the first place. Um, because I have daughters, I want them to see that this is, you know, the norm. Emily is an instructor now. She encourages every woman to give strength classes a try. You kind of have to step out of your box and out of your comfort zone and just give it a shot. You know, we're not going to put the heaviest weight on the bar if it's your first class. We're going to challenge you at your level and then go from there. <laughs> okay. Now, Hale held its own strong woman competition late last year in Plymouth with an arm over arm truck pull. So you saw the women's there <laughs> pulling the truck. They had also had a dumbbell press and wagon wheel deadlift. The event raised money for Relentless Detroit Foundation, which helps families who have children with life-threatening illnesses. But boy, look at those women. <laughs> I like the way he thinks, but it's not the norm. It is not the norm. <laughs> no, it's pretty right. great. <laughs>